Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria 2, where we've got a newspaper here, Crisis Averted, Fears of the Ottoman Empire, what are they fearing? Chilly relations with Austria. They're fearing a war with Austria. They are military rank 24. Austria is way stronger than the Ottoman Empire. They should fear that. Please do, Austria. Please do. If Austria and the Ottomans go to war, then we do attack Egypt. If they don't go to war, we don't. What's our current infamy at? Can we afford to justify? Let's pop into our diplomacy here. Our current infamy is 21.52. If we were to justify on Egypt, then we would potentially gain... Oh, we still have a truce with Egypt until... Three more years. So we're we're just going to chill for right now. We've got a, a three-year truce. We have no reason to do anything. That'll allow our infamy to tick down a fair amount. We're making quite a lot of money right now. May want to toss a little bit more towards education and administration. Oh, hello. The reforms sweeping through the country have upset the landed elites in Wad Madani. So, all aristocrats in Sudan are going to gain some consciousness and military, or militancy, even. So yeah, I think it's a good idea that we uh, continue lowering taxes. About like that. And let's see how that holds... Okay, we're losing money now. Okay, the projected daily balance is about accurate. We're meeting people's needs much better now, though. So let's just bump all of the taxes down, and we'll operate at a deficit for a little while. We've got plenty of money in the bank, so we can do this for a good long time. And as our population keeps increasing, that should, I think, turn itself around. We don't have a very big deficit, after all. We'll see how that sits, though. Well, the deficit is currently growing a little bit, but that's okay. Our adult male population is 2.41 million. Our total population is about 9 million. So that's good. Okay, we are fighting crime over here. Average militancy is 5.3 there. Okay, our average militancy of our nation is growing right now, primarily due to Western influences. Although we could reduce it by locally produced ships, according to what I'm reading here. How do we go about doing that? We could build a navy here. So, this clipper transport, what exactly would that do for us? That would allow us to transport troops, correct? And then this frigate is used for, like, light ships, similar to Europa, I'm assuming? Cost of goods not in stockpile is a lot. And then a man of war would be like a, he a heavy ship, right? So something along the lines of that. So how could we go about getting some, like, trade power out of these? I don't know. But I'm going to try making a single clipper transport. I don't want to make much more than that right now, but I want to see what exactly that does for our militancy. Currently nothing. Our amount of militancy increase is decreasing, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's getting better. Okay, our average militancy across the nation is now holding steady. It's actually decreasing. 
Fantastic. Oh, and now it's increasing substantially. I don't know what triggered that, but that's interesting. Nothing in our colonies need attention because we uh, don't have colonies. <laughs> our average consciousness is increasing, but that's not the worst thing. The militancy I would very much like to deal with, but instead, let's make them even angrier by looking at passing a reform. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So they're not going to like these reforms if they're, if they're, well, everybody's going to not like these actually, but conservatives are going to dislike them more than liberals and reactionaries are going to dislike them most of all. It doesn't say what anarcho-liberals will think of it, though. I think they're just fine with reforms. Conservative lost a lot there. Okay. That's fine. So this clipper transport is being built. Let's see, finance and education reforms would apparently help as well. Oh, look at this. Egypt got brigades. Isn't that cute? So the Ottomans are at peace right now. The Ottomans have a military rank of 26. How does that relate to ours? Our military rank is... 37, our score is 15. Okay, I was going to say, we're stronger than the Ottomans, but no, we're we're not quite even with the Ottomans. They are stronger than us, but not by a huge amount. To the point where if we play with attrition and um, like corridors down here correctly, then we might be able to beat the Ottomans in a war, but it would be a long shot, to be sure. So when is our truce with Egypt up? 5 March 1860. Hello, scientists in our country have discovered flintlock rifle armament. Introduced at the beginning of the 17th century, the flintlock rapidly replaced earlier firearm ignition technologies such as the doglock, matchlock, and wheellock mechanisms. It continued to be in common use for over two centuries, replaced by percussion cap and, later, cartridge-based systems in the early to mid-19th century. Although long superseded by modern firearms, flintlock weapons enjoy continuing popularity with black powder shooting enthusiasts. So that gives all of our infantry, actually all of our everything, <laughs> better attack, but increases our supply consumption by 10%. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, I'm a little concerned about our current budget. The European military mission is going to have to wait because I'm going to bring the taxes back up to 55%. Okay, that's a little bit better. And then the question is, do we bring it up higher? To like 60%. I feel like we do. There we go. Now we're making money. Okay, European military mission, what is it? One of the great powers of the West has taken an interest in our country again. Who is this? The UK. They uh, already did this. But okay, our troops do need to modernize. I guess they're doing it in a different province now. Fair enough. Okay, here's our fleet. What can we do with it? Well, we can carry one weight. It received 0% of the supplies needed for the last day. That should, I think, change. Yeah, this is just purely a transport. And our militancy is increasing. So we need to keep an eye on that, to be sure. Okay, so when can we get this reform? This cost will be 10 to 30. Okay, we're working on it. 
Hello, newspaper. Krakow is fearing things. What is Poland fearing? Austria, of course. I don't blame them. Austria is pretty, pretty terrifying. Wait. Where exactly is Krakow? That's Russia. Right now. That's part of the Russian Empire. So the Russian Empire is fearing Austria, but they don't really have a need to. They're more powerful than Austria. Interesting. I really do want Austria to fight the Ottomans. But the Ottomans are now allied with the UK. So Austria would probably need something to... Oh, they're also allied with the UK. Interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. UK will not accept becoming an ally. <laughs> I would like it if they would protect us, but uh, I doubt they will. Whoa, look at that! Sokoto built a brigade! Isn't that cute? It's adorable! I love it! <laughs> One irregular brigade. Oh, there's a second! Look at that! Sokoto is building troops! I never would have seen that coming. Never ever would have seen that. <laughs> Wait, we can only have two ships? Okay. Let's build a second clipper transport then. Just in case we need to transport anything in the navy. So this is the current strength. Yeah, okay. And we are currently accumulating clipper convoys. It would seem. Okay. Sounds good. So at this point, we're basically just waiting for the Ottomans to decide their course of action. While also waiting for our truce with Egypt to be up so that we can begin justification. Of course, we also need to be concerned... Oh, landed elites in Takari are upset. Okay. We also need to be concerned about our current level of infamy. More aristocrats are angered. Okay, we may want to be thinking about some uh, internal politics type stuff. Let's see, let's go into our movements here. Egyptian Liberation Movement. Sokot Liberation Movement is pretty, uh, pretty big right now. Now, why are they doing this? Honestly, I think I'm just going to leave them for right now. I don't think we need to suppress them. Okay, so this clipper transport will be done soon enough. And what is this here? Oh, population change. Okay. I gotcha. So our reform is still a ways off. Wait, is this going down? Wasn't that 80k before? Yeah. The Sokot Liberation Movement is actually losing population. That's a good sign. It's a very good sign, in fact. Our militancy is still increasing. Yeah. And I would like to do something about that, but uh, hopefully it'll just drift down in these areas over time. Oh, uh, look at this. Austria is trying to set up a military mission in our territory now. Sure. I mean, I'm less scared of Austria than I am of the UK, because how are they going to plan to get here? That's going to be difficult for them. 
They're going to have to ship all the way around, all the way like this, and then land in Ethiopia over here. That's going to be a lot of attrition. As opposed to the UK, which can just ship troops from British India. Anyway, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to see what our expansion plans are. Do we go to war with Egypt again? Our truce is up in a year. We're definitely going to take over the rest of Sokoto, but we'll see. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.